So it's fall. And the leaves change and then they fall. <laughs> That's where they get fall. And one of the reasons why they do it is they uh, let go of the leaves so they can conserve energy for the core getting ready for spring. Um, as we were thinking about our new life and w- what we've gone through, um, we realized that uh, uh, I've never done a core group training with you guys. Right? Really just uh, face-to-face, deep discipleship. Um, we've just made transitions right, from the for English ministry to a conversation about being a church and then 4 p.m. and then to here. Um, and I think what God is uh, pushing us towards is this core group training. And so uh, I thought about how I can do this core group training with you guys. Um, and then I realized that uh, what's most important is not doing a core group training so this new life can flourish. I, I, I pray that new life will flourish. But that's not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is discipleship. Uh, With New Life, we are trying something new. And if it succeeds, great. If it doesn't work out, actually there's no shame in that. I think there's shame in trying. There's no shame in trying and not working out. There's a shame in not trying at all and choosing the easy road. Uh, And you are courageous. You have chosen the road less traveled by. Um, And God delights in that faithfulness. Uh, So whatever the result, as we pray for good results, but whatever the result is not our ultimate concern. My ultimate concern is discipling you guys. I want to disciple you guys so at the end of it, uh, that you guys would know what it means to be a follower of Christ. And you'll be very confident in all that you do in all the different places where you follow Christ. So it's going to take about half a year. It might take a little bit longer. I, I, I'm not sure yet. As we go, even as I was preparing this one here, I realized that there's so much that can be said. Uh, what I want to do is I want to, this is the basic pattern that which way we're going to do is I want to ground theology, just like Paul, a real solid theology. And out of that also, maybe this is where I was quite weakened, give you real sp- uh, specific practical points how we are to practice. And that's how Paul writes all his letters. And what I ask of you guys is commitment. In other words, uh, be here. Um, if you cannot, for some reason, for family stuff, right, I, I pray that you make this part number one, but for family issues, then uh, watch the video. Um, everything will build upon each other. Uh, another way of commitment is that all the practical points that which I'm going to share with you, but then we're going to converse together, uh, you follow through on those. Uh, Rather than Sunday sermon just being, oh, that felt good, and then forgetting for the rest of the week, let's try, I'm going to try to live this every day for this whole week, and let's see what happens then, how much further the word goes, and how much fruit the word bears, if we also believe that practice of the word is as important as hearing of the word. Okay? That's the commitment I'm asking of you guys. Um, and during all this time, you could invite, but just be honest, hey, right now, we're going through this Intense discipleship training. I want you to come and be discipled with me. So make that invitation. Um, Second thing is be open. Uh, We're going to be trying creative things, okay? Uh, Not just the conversation, but we're going to have you do other things. Again, be part of the sermon process. Uh, We're going to have some of the people in our own congregation share from their own lives. Um, I've been part of a micro group, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. And we're going to have some of those people come in too. So be open to different ways of being discipled. So uh, discipleship is not a passive uh, reception, but an active participation. So that's what I'm asking from you guys. Are we good with that?